Well, uh, let's talk about that stock that took quite a bit of beating in trade today, DLS. The Supreme Court this afternoon upheld the CCI, that's the Competition Appellate, Tri the, uh, the Competition Appellate Tribunal's order, and instructed the realty major to pay a penalty of uh, 630 crore rupees in three months for unfair trade practices. Now, Ashpeet Sethi was at that hearing, and uh, she's joining us from the capital. Ashpeet, take us through the court's uh, di directions this afternoon. Well, it's a strong message coming from the Apex Court for all real estate companies with the Supreme Court saying that DLF will have to pay the 630 crore penalty which was imposed by the Competition Commission of India in 2011. But as far as the interest of about 9% on this penalty is concerned, for that the Supreme Court has said that DLF will have to give a fresh undertaking saying that they will abide by the Competition Appellate Tribunal uh, order saying that 9% interest has to be paid or as and when the matter is decided whatever direction Supreme Court are given, DLF will have to abide by it. Remember, this is a case of abuse of dominance in a relevant market, Gurgaon, where three projects of DLF are involved, uh, Belair, Park Place and Magnolia, where buyers have accused uh, DLF of uh, increasing the number of floors as far as the projects are concerned and reducing uh, uh, the floor area. They've also alleged that DLF has uh, uh, construed the uh, agreements which they had with the buyers and has increased the prices by nearly 60% without even informing the buyers that they have to pay this money. So this is quite a setback coming in for DLF and a strong message to all real estate companies coming from the Apex Court.